Well, the first city in the country to get 5G, the fastest cell service around. But tonight, we call on Curtis Ming with health concerns raised over the equipment. Yeah, well, Sacramento is quite excited about this, pioneering the technology that will roll out in the late summer. Now, the industry says 5G could be 100 times faster than current service, but it requires more equipment closer to you, and some don't like that. The race to build a 5G network. Today is a very exciting day. The city of Sacramento fast-tracking the technology last year, partnering with Verizon, hoping to draw tech startups and innovation to the city. But 5G waves don't travel as far as current wireless frequencies. Instead of large cell phone towers spread far apart, it requires small cell sites closer together. This will cause cancer. Donna Barron is protesting plans to build small 5G cell sites on light poles in her Maryland neighborhood. She's one of several people raising health concerns. This stuff is untested on kids. Their safety is not certain. These untested technologies are, at this time, not ready to be unleashed into our lives. Research on the effects of cell radiation has been inconsistent. According to the National Cancer Institute, a limited number of studies have shown some evidence of statistical association of cell phone use and brain tumor risks. But most studies have found no association. The city of Sacramento told CBS 13 to date the weight of scientific evidence has not effectively linked exposure to radio frequency energy from mobile devices with any known health problems and referred to the city's project as the deployment of safe, federally compliant, super high-speed wireless 5G connectivity. But people like Donna don't want to risk it. They're not so small when they're in your front yard. Well, Sacramento says 5G promises to revolutionize our daily lives. There are only six sites in the city right now. We've posted those six locations on CBS13.com. Now, at that big news conference a year ago, they said eventually there will be one of these sites every 1,000 feet.